Hey, it's Daniel here. Uh, today we're looking at the power management software for Lenovo T-Series laptops. Uh, well, what Lenovo has done is they've, uh, they've deleted from their site or removed from their site older driver versions. And in the case of the power management, the driver that they do offer is the bare driver. It does, it's not a full software package, so you don't have the conf uh, configuration options for power management, and you don't have the gauge for the task bar and things like that. Well, I'll show you what you do need to make this work. First, you're going to go to your T-Series laptop. A T61. Sort the component by power management. This version here, 1.67.04.05, and you're going to download that. Okay, so you need this, the gtku09ww.exe file. Okay, I've already got these, and so there I'm not going to get any this point downloading that but you would then you're going to go to change product and you're going to go back to laptops this time you're going to actually choose the SL series laptops and you're going to choose the SL 500 and go then you're going to sort the component by power management and you're going to download this version here okay version 6.66.1 save that as well. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to at this point. Let's just close that. What you're going to do is, let me just uh, go back over here. So this is uh, just a remote desktop over to the laptop and I'll just show you where I saved the files and what we're doing with it here. Okay, uh, power management. So first you're going to install this file, so double click on it going to go through the process and install the entire power manager driver and software uh, for the SL500 and when it's finished it's going to ask you to restart you are going to restart you will need to do that when the computer boots back up and when the computer bo boots back up you're going to have the the power bar and you're going to have the the power options and it's all going to be there and everything is going to look nice however if you if you only have this driver installed for the SL 500 it's still not the correct driver for the the laptop and its components and its on-screen functions so the on-screen functions um, like the the volume control and function key F5 for the wireless radio are not going to operate or both will not operate so after um, th this driver and software package is installed you're going to go ahead and, and run the bare driver version for the proper model okay when that's done you're going to also restart so when that's restarted, then what you will have is the power gauge, the power options. I've set mine to advanced, but basic looks like this. Okay. So you're going to have the power options. And you also have the on-screen functions okay I can't show you the on-screen functions here because this is just remote desktop into the laptop to show you the the interface and, uh, knowing that 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 um, knowing that it's uh, um, gone from the website is a little disturbing because that does mean that uh, Lenovo is cutting back on its support for T-series laptops, at least uh, some of the older ones. And uh, all I can say to Lenovo is, if they're listening, is uh, put the driver support back on your website 
because some drivers aren't fully functional and the old versions are or older versions are and uh, T-series laptops being your most expensive line that I'm aware of that uh, serious businesses use um, unless they're IT staff have always backed up older versions of uh, the drivers you're shorting them for the support that they need so I recommend that you put those drivers back up so that we don't have to do such workarounds as for the rest of the community that's how you get around it and it should work uh, the way it's uh, the way it's intended even with the workaround uh, if Lenovo does not um, does not ultimately put those older drivers back up all right any comments or questions certainly put it in the notes below